हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू शिक्षार्थी इन दिस वीडियो वी शैल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट टू डिजिट मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो लेट स्टार्ट now we'll broadly divide this session into three parts wherein we'll first talk about the mother method when i say mother method i'll be discussing the basic method the generic method of doing two digit multiplications then we'll be practicing some with the help of some examples that i'm going to take and finally we'll learn something new today which is how to check the answer which is equally important so you will see that in these two sections we will be categorically talking about accuracy but in the latter two sessions we will be talking about speed and accuracy both right okay so starting off with the basic method which we call it i call it as a mother method so what i am doing here is i am taking a double digit number as ab and i am multiplying it with another double digit number which is cd so what am i supposed to do now in order to understand this better we will just draw two columns so let us say this is column 1 and this is column 2 so first we will start off with the first column so this one symbolizes i am starting off and i am going from left hand side to the right hand side i repeat i am taking a double digit number ab and i am multiplying it with another double digit number cd now in order to facilitate my calculations what am i assuming here i am assuming that let us take two columns let us say this is my first column and this is my second column and for the answer i mean for the calculations i need to start from the left hand side and go on to the right hand side right so let's do it so first i'll take only one column then i take both these columns and then i'm left with only one column first i take only this column which is represented by 1 then i take both the columns which is represented by 2 finally i am left with only one column which is this which is the rightmost column what am i supposed to do i am supposed to multiply so while i am multiplying this will be what a into c here you are supposed to multiply and then add so a into d plus b into c followed by b into d please relate If I would have asked you to multiply a one one with one one, you would have got a one two one. Relate this with this one two one, and such kind of relations and correlations we try and do in every session of ours, just to make it playful and interesting. Okay, I'll take one more example. So if somebody asks me to multiply a two three with four five. what am i supposed to do i am supposed to start from the left hand side let us say this is the first column this is the second column how much is 2 into 4 8 followed by 5 into 2 is a 10 and 4 into 3 is a 12 when i add a 10 to a 12 i get a 22 now 22 has to be written in this way so if you have watched my earlier videos i have told you the way but i'll repeat the way once again in case if you are a new watcher So let us imagine that this answer that we are getting this is the mean while answer that we are getting let us imagine that this answer is in the form of a train a small train in which this left most extremity say this left side extreme side is what the engine of the train followed by this is the first coach and this is the second coach now in the first coach let's relate how much did i get here i was getting an 8 right followed by the first coach so this here let us say this was the engine in which we got the answer 8 in the first coach we got an answer like 22 now 22 has to be written in such a way in which the units digit of 22 which is 2 is written on the same platform and the remaining digit or digits are written in the subscript subscript means you are going down sub going down and the same for the second coach but this is not the final answer this is just the mean while answer so for the final answer what do we do we come from the right hand side to the left hand side yeah 
So now this 5 comes down as such, this 1 gets added to the next compartment. This subscript gets added to the units digit of the next compartment. So how much is 1 plus 2? 3. Now this subscript gets added to the units digit of the next compartment, which is 1 0. So you get the answer as 1 0 3 5. Okay. Now we will take relatively a bigger example. Okay, so let me take an example like if I had to multiply 6, 7 with an 8, 9. What am I supposed to do? I am supposed to move from the left hand side to the right hand side. Now, don't waste your time in drawing two columns because that was just a way to explain it to you so that you understand it better. So just for the sake of revision, first I'll take only one column, then I'll take both the columns and finally I'm left with only one column. Okay. So how much is 8 into 6? 48. This is the engine of the train. The answer has to be written as such. Next column, 54 and 56 makes it 110. So as discussed earlier, now in 110, the units digit is a 0, which has to be written on the same platform. And the remaining digits, the remaining di digits here are 1, 1. They have to be written as a subscript. And finally, I'm getting what? 9 into 7 is how much? 6, 3. 9, 6, 3. 3 is the units digit and 6 has to be written as the, subs as the subscript. For the final answer, I need to come down from the right hand side to the left hand side. For which, what would I do? This 3 comes down as such. 6 plus 0 makes it a 6. And this 11 gets added to a 48, which makes it 5, 9. Yes? Okay. Now, if I say, if AB becomes equal to CD, then what am I doing? I am basically finding out the square of a number. That means the same mother method can be used to find out the squares. Yeah? And if you relate, my very first video on calculations was how to find out the squares. So, now what is AB square? AB square is nothing but AB into AB. Using the same logic, what am I supposed to do? I'll start off with the, there are two columns, right? So, A into A makes it how much? A square followed by AB plus AB, which is 2AB followed by B square. This is what we had done in the earlier video. So, can I say that if I know this method, this method, the same method can be used to find out the squares? Yes. So do I require some special methods to find out squares? No, not at all. So in this case, now what is the mother method of finding out squares? The mother method of finding out squares is nothing but a square followed by 2ab followed by b square. For this, we will take few more examples. So we are moving on to this stage where we are going to take few more examples which will include some examples that we would have taken. I mean, for example, all the four digits being different or maybe two digits being the same or whatever it is. So let us say if somebody asks me to find out a 7, 8 whole square. Do I know how to do, do this? Of course. What have I done and how much time did I take? So you would see the time when I was doing calculations here, the focus was only on accuracy because I was explaining you the method how to do it, which is very important. The first step is accuracy. And if I'm practicing accuracy every day for at least half an hour, because I'm getting a lot of queries also from all of you, those who are you know, watching our videos. So if I practice accuracy every day, Will it not improve my speed? Of course it would. So here, what have I done? I have done nothing but the same. And instead of, you know, writing it like this, I need to add this to this, or I need to add this to this. I should know how to do it. Right? Let's take one more example. Now, if I say that somebody gives me a question like 2, 9 has to be multiplied with a 9, 7. What will I do? I'll use the same mother method. So 9 into 2 is 1, 8 which is 18, 14 and 81 makes it a 95. 
and finally I am getting a 63. So the final answer would be this, 6 plus 5 is an 11. Now this 11 units digit is 1. The tenth digit gets carried here which makes it what? 10. Now finally time to che check the answer. So there is a method which will help you to check this answer. Let's talk about the method. How much is 9 plus 2? 11. Now in 11 how much is 1 plus 1? 2. How much is 9 plus 7? 16. In 16 how much is 1 plus 6? 7. How much is 7 into 2? 14. So I will write it down somewhere. Now in 14 how much is 4 plus 1? 5. So what I am trying to say now please listen to me very carefully. This I call it as finding out the digital roots of the number. For example, what is the digital root of 29? 2. What is the digital root for 97? 7. Now when I multiply these two digital roots, the ultimate digital root that I get here is what? 5. So if this answer, the digital root of this answer is equal to a 5, then only the answer could be correct. But if the digital root of this number is not working out to be a 5, in that case the answer is definitely incorrect. How will this help me? Let's talk about this later. But let us see whether I am getting a 5 here or not. So 3 plus 1 is a 4. 4 plus 8 is a 3. 3 plus 2 is a 5. Confused? Okay. 2 plus 8 is a 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. 11 plus 3 is 14. 14 means you are getting a 5. That means this answer should be correct. Now here if the digital root would not have been a 5 in that case the answer is definitely incorrect. How is it going to help me? Now if the same question is given to me in the form of a data interpretation question. And if I had to do a calculation like a 0.29 into a 9.7 irrespective of the decimal point irrespective of the decimal point you would have had four or five answers or choices if there was only one answer choice i repeat irrespective i'm not concerned with the decimal point as of now when i'm finding out digital roots it hardly matters so when i'm finding out the digital root of this number i will neglect the decimal point for the time being and if I choose that answer only which is giving me a digital root as 5, let us say there is only one answer which is giving me a digital root as 5. That means that is the only correct answer. Right? Similarly, let us do for this. How much is 8 plus 7? 15. How much is 1 plus 5? 6. So the digital root of the number 78 is a 6. But we, here we were supposed to find out the square of this. How much is 6 square? 36. Now 36, the digital root of 36 is what? 6 plus 3, which is a 9. In short, the square, the digital root of the square of 78 should be a 9. Let us check whether we are getting a 9 here or not. How much is 8 plus 4? 12. 12 plus 6, 18. 18 means 1 plus 8, 9. That means the answer should be correct. Yeah? The last thing for today. The food for thought. Now when I say food for thought, please take it as an assignment, as an assignment. Now my question to you is, what is the maximum number that I can get in the engine? First question. What is the maximum number that I can get here? Which is the first coach. And what is the maximum number that I can get here? Which is the second coach. When will I talk about this? Now once the video has been posted, and when you watch the videos, please start commenting in terms of the answers that you think are correct as per you. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. If you have already subscribed, please turn on your bell icon so that you can receive further updates. So until next time we meet, goodbye friends.